All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechak Wadash, the born of the elder apostles, great millstone, and the salutation of much love to Yaki out there pushing out his word and truth sincerity. And uh, I just want to do another video here on the great, uh, I mean, the, the Mark of the Beast, which is the RFID chip. <clears throat> all right, this is an article I came across uh, entitled Amazing Medical and and advancements for superhuman future okay and and what they're doing here is is they're they're making it convenient all right they're, they're um showing these different miracles as the scriptures speak about how they're, they're going to deceive all right the nations through, through those miracles and these this is this is it the medical advancements for superhuman future okay and you go to the scripture it says revelation 13 and uh 14 it says and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast which had this wound by a sword and did live. The point I wanted was the means of those miracles. All right. And as a matter of fact, before we go into that article, let's get that. Let's get the word miracle. And um, Revelation chapter 13. All right. Verse uh, six, 14. The word for miracle G yeah, I'll just let it read it. Strong's G forty five ninety two Semion. Semion. Semion meaning a sign mark token that by which a person or a thing is distinct distinguished from others and is known. A sign prodigy, portent, an unusual occurrence transcending the common course of nature. Woo! Transcending the common course of nature. So what are these? What is one of the miracles they're going to do? As this, which is the sign or a token that this is going to be the mark of the beast. Or leading to this technology. It's this advancements for superhuman future. So they're going above and beyond the natural course. The common course of nature. All right? It says of signs pro portending remarkable events soon to happen. What is that? That would be the future. All right, something soon to happen would be the future. Damn, that's cool. Of miracles and wonders by which the Most High authenticates the men sent by him. Okay, that's going to be the right hand miracles. Okay, okay, it says especially ceremonially or supernaturally. An indication, you know, there we go. Supernaturally, superhuman. So let's continue on now in this article written by the, uh, seems to look like a devil, Susanna Bowling. It says this technological and method, method, methodical, methodical advances in medicine enable physicians and surgeons to correct many common problems. Oftentimes, the patient enjoys a better quality of life, while m medical teams do not create superheroes from comic book legends. No, because the Lord is going to create those superheroes. All right? And Esau is trying to recreate that, but he can't. That's why he got the esco exoskeletons. All right? He wants the superhumans, the, the, uh, the cyborgs. All right? Iron Man, so to say, Batman's, but they what? They can't. They ain't gonna be able to overcome what the Lord got prepared. Okay, the miracles the Lord's gonna show. All right, so I'm gonna skip over uh, most of these points. Exo exoskeletons, all right, which is gonna work hand in hand with those the 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 mark of the beast. All right. Well, actually, let me read it. It says while exo exoskeletons, while some may envision exo exo skeletons as bodies of armor that enable soldiers to have greater ability in battle actual exo exoskeleton technology is more often designed to restore mobility one company designed the exo which consists of a 50 pound suit made from aluminum and titanium when fitted with the device patients paralyzed from spinal cord injuries are able to stand and walk this is this is part of that miracles man these are just a miracle man that can't walk you see, Esau trying to recreate the miracles that the Lord did. The Lord, you know, and his and his men, servants, did, you know. Because in the scriptures, he talks about men that couldn't walk. And they, through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai, they were able to. There it says, uh, robotic devices for, for amputees enable patients to accomplish a myriad of tasks being the capability of a human limb. Our neural implants. As the name implies, the devices are surgically inserted into the brain to create specific results. 
Patients suffering from psychological spasm and tremors associated with Parkinson's may opt to have neural implants that reduce the symptoms with a mere push of a button on an external controller. Deep brain stimulation has been available since 1997. All right, so a neural implant, where would that be implanted? Let's, let's use some common, let's, let's use some common uh, um, sense here. Neural. All right, let's, let's, let's type in neural. All right, neural. How you spell that, Salakia? N E U N E U R. Neural. It says relating to a nerve or the or the, or the uh, nervous system. All right. What are the neural pathways in the brain? All right. So most likely it's going to be at the base of the brain. All right. The base where the spine meets the the skull, so to say. All right. So and it, that, that could also be or your forehead because your brain is, is up there in the f damn forehead ain't it you know genetic engineering okay injecting stem cells blah 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 nano medicine they fact they brother Adawa Diner, i can't go into that all the time all right, here we go here's the point microchip implants all right rfid microchip implant technology experiments were initially developed by british researcher kevin warwick in 98 which really goes back even a little bit further but you know, this is when they started uh, presenting it in the in the mainstream, so to say. Not the mainstream, but putting making it public. All right, easily easier to find. It says after inserting the chip. Let's go to uh, uh, Revelation 13 and 16. It says, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right, because ultimately this mark of the beast is going to be that microchip, the implantable microchip. No if ands, buts about it. All right, the Neuralink, whatever. If you take that technology inserted into you, you are finished. If verse 17 says, and this is the main, this is the main thing that they're gonna use to push it. Yeah, they're gonna entice you with those miracles, but this is gonna be the main reason that you're gonna need to take it. It says, verse 17, and that no, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And we've gone into that word countless times. The word mark there, karagma. And then go to Karaks and Grapho. All right. If you don't know it by now, then you're just an idiot. And if you don't think the mark of the beast is the RFID chip, then you're you're you're, you're finished. All right. It says after inserting the chip, all right, through the, through the means of the Karaks, the syringe, all right, the hypodermic needle, all right, insert the chip, which is the Karaks. He had the ability to turn appliances and lights in his home on and off, in addition to accessing entry into his office. How is that made? With the chip, how is that uh, um, possible using the chip? Because the grapho, the information that's coded or written into the chip. Okay, graphos. It says, today the chips are being used around the world by very... This is an uh, up-to-date article, October 9, 2019. All right. Talking about ain't no microchips. Well, here it is. It says, today the chips are being used around the world by various companies to log onto computers, open doors, use company machines, or make... Purchases. Hello. All right. Sonar installation. Blah, blah, blah. Night vision. See, these are miracles that they're trying to push. <laughs> Night vision. <laughs> Esau's a devil, man. Uh, yeah, but that's the point, man. RFID microchip implant technology, man. Come on. Neural, neural link uh, or the neural implants, you know, for your, ner your nervous system. That's all the technology of this market of beast, man. But ultimately, it's that implant because that's why it says neural implant. All right, uh, microchip implants. Okay, if you receive it, you know you're gonna be destroyed. The main purchase, I mean, the main thing is the purchasing ability, because that's what the scriptures speak of. Okay, but it's more to it. That's why in verse 14 it talked about and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. I mean, geez, Louise, we read it. We read what the, the word miracle means, okay? And, and of course, and, and this is this is deception, man. You're not going to be a superhuman if you take this chip. You're going to be super dead. That's what you're going to be, okay? Superhuman. That's nonsense, man. The superhumans you're going to see when the Lord turns his men up and gives them those spiritual abilities, all right? This is what you're going to be, super through. Revelation 14 and 9, And third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, 
and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the ple in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So that's what that's what you're gonna be super on fire. All right, all right. That's what's gonna be your judgment if you take this mark of the beast and if you get deceived to take it. Because that's you know that's why people are gonna take it because they're gonna be deceived. It's gonna start off with oh look look at all the medical uh, uh, advancements is is pushing amazing amazing medical advancements. All right. Uh, um, you, 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 you can, uh, make your life a lot easier, more convenient. And then ultimately, look, you can't work. You can't buy nothing. You can't sell nothing. Now you got to take it. If you want to continue to be part of society. All right. You want to feed your kids? Come, come on down and get a chip, you know, but what it's going to be with people are willingly going to take it. They're not just going to start slapping people with chips, you know, or putting, you know, man, you know, well, they're going to make it mandatory. If you want to continue to be part of society, if not, they're going to haul you off to a concentration camp, behead you. Or whatever the case may be, all right. But they're not—they're not gonna tie you down and just start shooting chips into people. No, nah, they want you to willingly take it. That's why they're gonna deceive you, okay? And that's why uh, it says in the Revelation uh, nineteen. It said nineteen and twenty, Revelation nineteen and twenty. It says, and the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet, all right. The 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 the, the religious system that the you know, the uh, beginning with the Catholic Church, Christianity, all right? All these churches are going to tell you to t take the chip. Our right, servants will be your masters. You know, all that nonsense, man. Butchering the scriptures. They're going to they're gonna push you. If you, if you go into these churches, man, uh, whether it be Pentecost or Seven-Day Adventist, uh, 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 Baptist, you know, whatever. Uh, Jehovah Witness, Catholic Church non-denominational church whatever the case may be they're going to tell you to go take the chip it said and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast so you you morons that take this chip is gonna you've been deceived you've been deceived by the beast and the, and the false prophet that's why the beast being the, the eu nato the esau's uh, power structure all right his system is going down with the false prophet because he got he got the, he got that war system, the financial system, and then he got the the um uh the 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 religious system, so to say. All right, the the philosophy system, whatever you know. That's the three unclean spirits, okay, or like unclean like frogs. Or something. I believe that's in Revelation sixteen. All right, but it, nonetheless, it says with which he re deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worship his image. These both were cast alive, alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. So that's that's the precept to go on because it says to go with uh, Revelation 14 because it says which he deceived them that had received the mark and them that worship his image. So if you ultimately uh, worship the image and the beast, you're going to receive his mark. Like I said here, it says in Revelation 14, 9 again, it says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast... And his image and receive his mark in his forehead and or in his hand. You're going to receive that cup of his indignation, right? The fire and brimstone. Well, here's here's one. Here we go. The lake of the lake of fire burning with brimstone. That's what you're going to receive, man. You're going to be tossed into that bitch alive, man. And let's let's prove that. Uh, what is that? Uh, uh, Zechariah 13, maybe. Um. Uh, Maybe fourteen, it's a lot. Fourteen and uh, yep, fourteen and twelve. Because remember, you're gonna be you're gonna be tossed into the lake of fire alive, as I said in Revelation nineteen. This is Zechariah fourteen and twelve, and this shall be the plague wherewith Yahweh will smite all the people that fought against Jerusalem. Cause you're fighting against us, man. Telling telling people that the chip ain't ain't uh, the mark of the beast, and anybody else coming up against the prophets of the Lord. All right. There, and, and, and the whole nation of Israel, period. But it had two-thirds of our people going to be put to death, too. So it says, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. How can, if you're dead, you know, physically dead, all right, you're, 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 not, you're not standing on your feet. You're alive. So as you're alive, standing upon your feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And that's going to happen when that you get tossed into that lake of fire alive. Let's go back to that. Revelation 19 and 20. 
I'm going to go straight to the point. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. What's going to cause that? Thermonuclear missiles. So if you take this mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip technology, you're finished and you're going to be tossed into this lake of fire alive. Shalom.